What's up, this is Justin from OTEP, and we're about to explore my drum kit. It's a Yamaha Oak Custom. Old school, it's about 10 years old. Solid, it's probably one of the best kits I've ever played in my life. Sizes here are 10, 12, 16, 22 inch kick. And this is actually an old school Mapex. It's so old? Yeah, Mapex Mars Pro Series snare. 14 inch. Uh, I've had this since I was touring and since I was 16 years old probably. I go for the cheapest heads at Guitar Center because I have no uh, artist endorsement or anything. So heads are kind of, I beat the shit out of this kit. Excuse me, I beat it up pretty bad. So the heads are kind of a uh, hit or miss. I usually only use Remo Emperor X coated for a snare. I find it to have this really good snap on it. Um, so that's like the main, this is my go-to on every snare head. Toms, I'm kind of hit or miss. I prefer Aquarian, um, but right now, these are Evan's heads on the kit. Um, the cymbals, I'm a feisty artist. I use Rude, everything. I bash these things hard. I put them through so much stress test. Actually, this is an Alpha Ride. It's got more dynamics than a Rude. It doesn't, the sustain isn't quite as long. If you hit the bell, it doesn't just go bing for an hour. It, it cuts off nice, so I started with the, I, I traded my 24 inch Mega Bell Heisty for this alpha because there was just way too much. Uh, we got the wild Heisty China, and then we got what they just came out with recently. It's a Heisty PSTX flanger stack, Swiss flanger stack. Really cool noise. You want to hear it? It's just cool trash can noise. So I use uh, 14 inch hats. This is an 18 inch crash ride because I, like I said, I bash these things all the time. This is a 19 inch crash ride, 22 inch rock ride, 18 inch china, and this is a 14 inch swish flanger stack. Pedals and hi-hat is all DW 9000s. Been a DW guy since day one. Uh, all their hardware has been top of the line, so I just kind of stick with that. Uh, I would actually not have a cage if I could afford all the DW hardware that I wanted, but it's pretty pricey. So uh, I'm just sticking with the, the two main um, items, which are my bass pedals and the hi-hat stand. Sticks, signature sticks. These are from Vader. They're extreme 5Bs, uh, a little bit wider and heavier than a five, regular 5B. Uh, Vader is just an amazing company. I used to work, used to use Promark all the time. And then once they swapped out, they got bought out by Daddario and all these big people, their products just kind of started dwindling. Like the, I would get bricks of sticks and it would just be so unbalanced. And you just can't, as a drummer, you have to have precision in your sticks. They gotta be balanced. You don't want one super light and one all heavy. It just messes up your dexterity, the way you play it. So uh, Vader has just been nothing but amazing. Uh, great sticks, great company, small company, so the quality is just incredible there. Uh, and this is also a Michael Carmichael throne. This is what they call the King's Throne. This channel right here allows your spine to sit in here. So you, like, I don't, a lot of drummers, they get these flat seats, and you get some back work after hours of sitting on this kit, you know, so I talked to a gentleman that that makes these, uh, Michael Carmichael, and uh, this is like the back saver of any drummer's uh, seat, I guess, yeah. This, this will save your back. This is what you want. It's a good channel, it's comfortable, it's, it's the best seat I've ever had. I've done Rocket Socks, I've done DW, Tama, I've done all kinds of seats, and this is my go-to. I have three of these, uh, I take it at home. I leave this one in tour. Marco, Michael Carmichael, thank you, man. You're saving my back. 